Hi guys, this is Mrs. Krepko. I um, have been getting a lot of questions from students as well as adults that I know about vocal health and how to get your voice back after you feel like you're, you've lost it or how to avoid losing your voice, especially now during cold and flu season. Well, I'm going to tell you four different things that you can do to try to keep yourself from losing your voice. Number one, of course, is use common sense. If it hurts, don't do it. If you're singing and it starts to hurt and you're like, oh, you know, I can get through this, not a good idea because more than likely you're doing huge damage to your voice. So stop singing, stop talking, stop screaming, whatever it is that you're doing that's making it hurt, just stop. Okay. Number two is up, um, increase your intake of water. And when I say water, I mean water. I don't mean fluids in general. It is good to drink a lot of fluids, but I know that a lot of you love to drink soda. I do too. Um, but when you're losing your voice or preparing for a performance, the best thing for you to do is to drink as much water as you can stand. And at least, doctors say, eight ounces. Eight, glasses of water a day, which equals maybe like 64 ounces a day. That's a lot of water. Um, <clears throat> but what that's going to do is help to flush your system. If you come in contact with people that have a virus or have a cold, the best thing for you to do is to start drinking a lot of water so that you can flush your system and rid your system of a virus or a cold that you probably already have. Um, and also drinking stuff like soda or milk or orange juice or anything like that will kind of coat your throat with sugars and syrup and things that are not going to help with your um, condition. Um, number th what number am I? Three. Number three, um, modify your diet to include more vitamin C, zinc, things like that that will help to keep your immunity up. For example, berries, strawberries, cherries, things like that have a lot more vitamin C than actual citrus foods do, like oranges and lemons and grapefruits and things like that. So if you love strawberries, blueberries, things like that, those would be really good for you if you can find them. Um, also green leafy foods, spinach, salads, things like that will help to build up your um, immunity. If you don't like any of those things, then start taking a vitamin. Vitamin C is really good. Um, they even have these um, things like hulls that have vitamin C on them, they taste like candy, and they're really good. Um, so stuff like that. Dress appropriately for the weather. Um, <clears throat> that's not really having anything to do with immunity, but it is going to keep your vocal cords warm, especially if you've already warmed them up. When you go outside right now and it's really cold, your cords will be like confused. Um, so that's kind of number three and a half, two and a half three and a half, whatever. The next thing is um, to gargle with salt water. Um, this is especially if you feel the oncoming cold happening or if you feel like your throat is starting to get a little scratchy or even if you've been over at somebody's house like you go to see your grandma and she has the flu or something you go home and you feel fine but the next day you may not be fine. So that night you get home from grandma's or the night that you start feeling a scratchy throat, brush your teeth and then gargle with salt water. And my recipe for salt water is about a cup, like a measured cup of warm purified water. It doesn't have to be purified, but I use purified. Um, <clears throat> warm, not hot. Make sure it's not cold. So warm water and about half a teaspoon of salt. And then you mix it up really well. You brush your teeth first, and then you gargle with salt water. And try to do the whole cup. Don't swallow it. If it's too salty, it could actually irritate your throat, so test it out first. Give it a little taste. That's the only way to do it. Um, but that really does help me, and I've been doing that for years. So if you are exposed to people with colds, or if you feel like you're getting a cold, then I suggest that you do that. And then the fourth and most dressed, was that fourth? Fifth, the last and most drastic thing is vocal rest. This is like strictly no talking, no whispering, no singing. If you've already lost your voice and you have a performance coming up, 
don't sing, don't talk, don't yell, and especially don't whisper because whispering is actually worse than your voice than on your voice than actual talking because it's just plain air hitting your voice over and over and over again. So do not do any of those things and if you want to be dramatic about it, you know, tell your friends, look, I'm going on voice rest, so ask me yes or no questions. Or carry around a paper and a pen and answer people that way. I've never really had to go on vocal rest, but I have in college there are plenty of people who had to. Um, and it's it turned out to be fine. But it really does help to rest your voice. Um, so those are just some practical things that you can do to avoid losing your voice or losing your voice more if you feel like you might be losing it. But number one and two are really the, the best things. Common sense and lots of water. This is Mrs. Krepko. I hope it helped. Oh, didn't stop.